Oh, gee, yeah, the big talker this morning. Gopher athletes and fans are trying to wrap their heads around the news that multiple men's sports teams are going to be cut this coming year. Yes, we're going to break down what's actually leaving the U of M and what has hundreds of you talking this morning. Now, an open letter to the U university athletics community announced yesterday that four men's programs, tennis, gymnastics, and indoor and outdoor track and field will be cut from the school at the end of the year. U of M president Joan Gable and athletic director Mark Coyle say the coronavirus pandemic and budget issues are to blame, made even worse by the Big Ten postponing fall sports like football. The athletic department is also facing a projected $75 million revenue loss. Yikes. Well, after this news broke yesterday, Carolyn Sports anchor Dave Schwartz talked to Gopher gymnast Shane Wiskus, a four-time NCAA medalist and Team USA Olympic hopeful about this news. Here's what he had to say. I think it just points to a larger issue, which is if an athletic department relies on one sport and one season to have a successful year, then there's something wrong with that business plan. He's got a point and he's uh, rightfully upset there. The U says they'll continue to support the affected athletes, honoring all of their existing scholarships for those who continue their academic careers at the U. And they're also helping those who want to transfer to another school. Now, hundreds of people are frustrated and really upset by this news. On our Carol Evan Facebook page, Mike wrote, it's truly sad for all the athletes who work so hard to get to where they are. But several people made the same point as Jessica here. She says they are not the big income generating events compared to others. Cuts have to be made somewhere. And I think we can all agree with Susan here who called it a tough decision no matter how you slice it. But yeah, Gia, this news, absolutely heartbreaking for all these student athletes who maybe even had other options, you know, before they chose the U and they chose the U. Well, now they don't have that option anymore. Yeah. I know you definitely feel for them. Uh, I'm glad that the U is working with them if they want, you know, to go a different route. But this is a tough year for them and so many other right. students. Alicia, thanks.